News, a woman using art to help educate students and Louisvillians about our air quality. The Canadian artist showed off her high-tech display today in downtown Louisville, and WHAS 11's Kayla Moody brings us her story. Air quality can change from block to block. To help illustrate this, a group that included students from Mazik Middle School went for a stroll downtown this afternoon, measuring air quality with a very unique tool. At first glance, it looks like an outfit from outer space. But this getup is actually a high-tech work of art designed by Canadian artist Dominique Paul. How yeah. long did it take you? Uh, about a month. And um, I hired a programmer to do the connection between the two devices, yeah. Paul's wearable art detects changes in air quality. A portable device on her purse called an air beam calculates particulate matter in the air. That reading is then translated to the EPA's color-coded air quality index, lining up the dress to reveal the results. Paul used the dress to show how air quality can change block to block during a walk through downtown Louisville. If you walk close to uh, a diesel bus, it can change. If you walk close to a construction site, the walk is Paul's second project in Louisville. She did a four-day workshop at Mazik Middle School, where students worked on a project to raise awareness about air quality. Some of those students attended the walk. At first, when I first saw her, it, I was like, what is she wearing? <laughs> because I didn't know like what the shoe did. We weren't exactly like very aware of air quality before, yeah. and we never really get to like interact and see what's actually going on. So like getting to like learn that stuff really like helped us. Particulate matter has been linked to asthma, heart attacks and cancer. The American Lung Association gave Louisville a C this year because of the number of days the city had unhealthy levels of particulate matter in the air. Programs like Mazik's partnership with Paul are working to raise awareness from the classrooms to the streets. The walk was cut off a little short due to a pop-up shower. After that walk, students finished up the day with a free lunch here at Metro Hall, where many of them shared their personal stories about air quality and asthma. From downtown, I'm Kayla Moody, WHAS 11 News. And uh, speaking of our air, this all comes